everyone, J5 the Hyperforce here, the one that flies super hyper style and panache. And welcome to this Hyper Talks, my video series where I talk about design, writing, oddities, basically anything relating to my passions and all profession that I want to chat shit about until I drink myself into a coma. A black current induced coma, <laughs> yeah! And if you can't tell, I've got stage fright again. <laughs> I know the past set of Hyper Talks have been bottom man themed, but hey, it's giving me views. It, it, it's your fault. <laughs> One of the big aspects of the Beatamon, and by extension the Bottle Man series that I love, is the ability to create your own blaster via customization. Hence why this video of me bitching about Bottle Man exists. So I have created my own Beatamon in the past. Most of my customs were just private, but a lot of our Matalum Showdown's our makers did come from those custom Beatamon. What is our Matalum Showdown, you ask? Well, <laughs> time to plug my game again. If the Beatamon slash Bottle Man series interests you, and you want a more teen and young adult oriented story, then please check out my visual novel with a simple yet vast battle system, our Matalum Showdown. Yes, I'm doing this again. <laughs> It's about a group of teenagers trying to uncover the lost history of a world revolving around the new kingdom of Beatondera and the AR sport of our Madeline. Along the way, you'll fight villains trying to do the same and grow bonds with your party and the island. Of course, you play the game's fight scenes while customising your blaster's ability and ammo. Gotta plug my shit because, y you know, it's the game I'm making. It'd be great if you played it. I gotta get the game attention! You can download the demo or play the full early access work in progress game over on itch.io. It would mean the world to me and would be absolutely amazing if you went and at least tried the demo. So yeah, <laughs> plug in the game, thanks for listening. Okay, after the ad for my game, let's get back on track. Let's create my own Bottle Man! This will be a part of the original system of Bottle Man and not a DX Bottle Man, given that OG is finished and we know what parts we can use. So we know what parts we're working with. DX isn't finished, so some new Bottle Man could show up and change how I'd want to make my DX custom. So OG it is! I kinda already did this a while ago on my Twitter, at j 5 Hyperforce, but this video will go into more detail. So let's get started! So first, we're gonna establish what drink our Bottle Man will be based on, unlike be the one where you can just bullshit a design. Bottle Man has some ground rules. Each Bottle Man is based on a drink of some kind, whether that be international or Japanese, like Coca-Cola or CC Lemon. <laughs> Lemon! <laughs> Jody, the, the, the references you make are as old as you are. Like Coca Cola or CC Lemon. So, what drink will my custom be based on? Well, for those who know me, this will be obvious. Black Current! It's my favourite drink, but what Black Current themed brand should I base this around? I have three options Ribena, Fruit Shoe, or this Tesco owned Stockwell & Co. Oh, look at that! Josh slash Jody is British! Oi, governor! <laughs> Gotta get me a bag of chips and then get me a chippy and then, I don't know, tea and crumpets? I'm British and I don't even know my own stereotypes that well. Stockwell is the one that I drink the most given its black currant to apple ratio. I'm not a fan of apple juice, but it does add to the black currant. So, I like a particular blend. Most apple and blackcurrant drinks from shops have too much apple in it. It's too sweet and too apple-y. Not a fan of apple. Not a fan of most things to be honest when it comes to food. So, Starkwell & Co is my main drink. So, do I go with it? Nah. So, what do I go with? Rye Speeder, Fukon Shoot, or Speedwell & Go? Don't worry about the names, they will explain themselves later. Well, Bottle Man tends to deal with more well-known brands. Yes, a Stockwell Bottle Man would fit me the most. It's kind of boring. And between Fruit Shoot and Ribena, I like Ribena more. I loved Fruit Shoots as a kid, but now it's kind of strong for me, and it's fallen from grace. So, Ribena it is! Ribena Light specifically, because it's not as strong and more smooth and more enjoyable to me. Cause I'm a bit of a wee girl. 
Also, the colours help too for the Bottlemans colour scheme. It's not just purple and purple and purple. And I like blue, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Don't look at the model. Plus, it is the first drink I thought of for a black current bottle man. So, Rubina Light it is! But what about its typing? What performance type will I want? There's no real theme between drinks and types. The only closest one is sodas being power types. So we can just do whatever we want here. My favourite type for a bottle man is speed types, at least for OG bottle man. The roller hold parts allow for smoother firing compared to the others, which just feels weird in my hands. Have you ever tried firing a bottle man that doesn't have rollers? It doesn't feel right, it feels like I'm gonna break it. I love how smooth speed types are, plus my favourite bottle man is Aquasports because of its speed, power and smoothness. So my bottle man will be a speed type. I will call him Rice Speeder, like Ribena but you slap speed in the middle of it. The IRS in the name is also close to Rise, like it's Rise in speed, so speed type it is. So we have our name and type, but what about the animal theme? Most bottle men are based on an animal, the only exceptions are Raijin Milk and Fujin Black being based on Japanese deities, Skull Pistol on a pirate, Sparking Knight on a, well, knight and Tan Satan on a devil. Given the theme of speed and me wanting to use Kolomaru's parts for my costume, since I love how Kolomaru looks, I'm basing Rai Speeder on a Peregrine Falcon. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Peregrine? Peregrine? Peregrine Falcon! The fastest animal in the world with a dive bombing speed of... Uh, 186 miles per hour? Oh! So yeah, good animal to base a speed type on. Plus, there's a perfect headpiece for this dive bombing bird theme. So, we have a speed tight black current falcon. Let's build this blaster! Since I've already built a 1.0 version on Twitter, let's look at that first. Behold, Ride Speeder 1.0! I told you I wanted to use Kolomaru's parts. Rise Speeder is just a fusion between Kolomaru and Arcosports. What can I say? I like them both. <laughs> we have a bird that's dive bombing as its theme. The arm parts that hold the magazine could be the wings forward back. If I could create my own moulds, that's what it would be. But alas, I only have so much power in my hands. My tiny little burl hand. Rise Speeder also uses speed caps to make faster shots. It can shoot three caps at a time, because of how the hold parts are held in place thanks to the arms being connected to the magazine, meaning there's no wiggle room for the hold parts to spread. Like my legs. So why not use Raijin Milk's magazine for more shots? It's faster to reload Aquasports than it is to reload Raijin Milk. Yes, I shoot less in one reload, and yes, I do have to reload more often, but the amount of time it takes to reload Raijin Milk could cost me the match. So reload speed was also taken into account. Plus, I would lose the power boost that I'd get from the arm magazine combo if I went with Raijin Milk's magazine. So this is the first Rai Speeder build, but what if we went further? Rai Speeder 1.0 was built in the early days of Bottle Man, like real early days. But now that we have all of the line released, there's some changes I want to make. Let's introduce Rai Speeder 2.0. Kolomaru Energy gave me some of the best parts for this build. His core is more of a black current colour than most, without being straight up black. Because it is dark purple, not black. And it's the Kolomaru Eyes, which is perfect. These and Skull Pistol's Eyes are my favourites. Because I'm able to open up Kolomaru Energy and Aqua Sports' core, I can swap around the hold part so I can put speed rollers inside Kolomaru's core. And I'm keeping Kolomaru's trigger because of the wider bird-like tail trigger piece. I, I do like it more. The wider surface area is pretty good actually. Kolomaru Energy's headpiece is also a diving bird. What a perfect headpiece. I know a diving falcon sticks their wings back, but hey, it looks like a diving bird. It's fitting. Besides from that, this is a pretty limited build. I kind of went with the idea of not overdoing it. I wanted to stay with the main gimmick of powerful speed. However, what if I just put everything I wanted into the blaster? Well... 
Let's smooth out this powerful punch with rise speed at 2.1! My custom fossil man, rise speed of light! <laughs> Yes! Colomaro's drive strip on one side, a roller on the other side, and Salafide's foot part! Now this is what you call a hyperforce worthy blaster. My favourite gimmick in all of beat em up is the drive strip. I love the functionality behind this thing. I love Battle Phoenix and Drive Garrowburn's roller drive cores, allowing for smoother firing of powerful shots. Rise Speeder will be our first power speed bottle man! Not only that, but we get smoother movements thanks to Salafire's footpath. If this is too much, then I'll just stick to the roller drive core. Rise speed of speed shots are fast and pack a punch. The shots are smoother and travel further than Colomaro Energy. And it's stronger! Because of Aquasports' arm magazine combo holding the hold parts in place, it does Colomaro's tension gimmick for me. This is a stupid bottle man and I love him. He's my son. <laughs> there are some details I'd like to add, but I don't have the budget to buy duplicates and try to paint them or print off my own stickers, so I'll just talk about those details. This bottle man will be dark purple and blue in its colours. Ribino Light's main colour is light blue, so we're adding it. There is dashes of green because of the leaves and the artwork, but I don't really want green to be a main colour of my bottle man. I'm more of a blue guy as you can clearly see by my outfit and branding. We have a black current purple core with blue and light blue armour pieces. The eyes will be green to reference those green leaves though. Like say, the prototype bottle man, or the special Colomaro that comes with the battle table set. It could also be a reference to Cobble Blade, my first ever beat em -on, and the original favourite beat em -on, until Cobble Saber came into my life, which is just Cobble Blade but better. So green eyes it is! The whole parts and triggers will be blue too, because the armour and the whole parts and trigger just share the same colour usually. There's lighter purple highlights too, since a lot of Ribena light packaging has lighter purple in it, so... The ball rollers in the Salfire foot parts will be black currant purple too, like the black currant fruits you would see on the packaging. I thought it'd be a cute little reference. <laughs> And that's what you'd call a Bottle Man Custom! <laughs> and there we go! The Rice Speeder Prototype, Rice Speeder Limited Build, and Rice Speeder Light! I guess that's what their names are gonna be. <laughs> Having all three gimmicks of Aquasports' Arm Mag, Roller Drive Core, and Roller Feet could be a bit too much, but fuck it, it's my video. <laughs> if Rice Speeder has to stick with one option, it'll be the Roller Drive Core. So, are there any plans for a Rice Speeder DX? Of course there is! <laughs> oh no, not this name again! <laughs> Dog Pepper on DX and Colomaro DX Blue version are the colours that I'd want for Rice Speeder DX. Dog Pepper on Speed Core is a dark purple like Black Current, or even just black. And do I need to say why the blue version of this bird themed Colomaro DX is perfect for this bird themed blue and purple bottle man? Plus, Bottle Phoenix gives us green anime eyes, not those robot-like eyes Colomaro DX has. Not particularly the biggest fan. So, the green eyes of Ray Speeder can live on. However, because of the hold parts in DX being one piece instead of two, without breaking the pieces in half, we can't get a roller drive core. However, Bottle Phoenix shoots further and faster than Aquasports DX! So, let's put the blue Colomo DX's hold parts and Bottle Phoenix's blue drive strip into Dr. Pepperon's speed core to make a power core that can take the Aquasports DX magazine. And of course, blue Colomo DX's head and foot parts with Bottle Phoenix's eyes. Now, the arms are what I'm questioning here. Maybe the feet too. Or the original Rise Speeder did not have Colomaro's wing arm parts. I guess he can now. CC Leon DX has proven that bottlemen from OG can drastically change when they come to DX. So, Rise Speeder DX being a power type versus his original speed typing isn't that weird. Again, we don't know all of the DX line of blasters, so something may come along that'd be perfect for Rise Speeder DX. Maybe there'll be an unofficial Black Current DX Bottleman. Heck, a Ribena Fiend Bottleman may even become an official blaster, making this whole video damning to say the least.
I can't agree we might even get a DX Bottle Man that has a roller drive core. At least for OG Bottle Man, we know Ride Speeder is my blaster. What about Ride Speeder DX's Constellation? What? Oh fuck, yeah! DX Bottle Men are a drink and a constellation. Fuck, um, let's see here. Mm. Well, there are other bird themed constellations other than the Phoenix, so. So. maybe the Aquila? 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 I don't know how to pronounce things. But they did carry Zeus slash Jupiter's thunderbolts in Greek Roman mythology. The speed caps are lightning shaped and themed. And. Eagles are kind of like falcons, right? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, hold on. Falcon constellation? Falcon constellation. In Hinduism, the constellation Aquilus is identified with the half eagle, half human deity Garuda. In ancient Egypt, Aquila was probably seen as the falcon of Horus. The falcon? One of the stars in the constellation is called the falcon? Falcon! Ha! There! Ride Speed of DX is the Aquila Constellation, if I've been saying that right. Who cares anyways? The parts won't be compatible with each other to make a Star Beast form if not all the pieces are the Kolomaru ones. I'm keeping my Black Current Falcon baby, even if it doesn't line up with the Constellation theming. Thank you for watching this stupid video! I know this was very self-indulging, but it's a good thought exercise. Like, say, creating a fake him on, but you only have limited pieces. I can't create new molds for stuff, or paint parts, like some other bottom and custom making people can, but I can theorise and build bases for them at least. Maybe you could come up with one of your own, Capri Sun, Fruit Shoot, Vimto, um, Sonny D? These nuts? I just wanted to make this video, okay? I love my Black Crow and Falcon baby! If you enjoyed this video, and you must have because you got to the end, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to please the YouTube gods! Make sure to go follow me on my Twitter, at J5TheHyperforce. There I'll post updates about videos or just tweet random shit. Like this tweet! <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bit of a comedian myself. Speaking of Twitter, if you have any fan art you want to send my way, like the Jody VTuber, or maybe Rice Speeder? Maybe Jody with Rice Speeder, I don't know. Then tweet them at me at J5 the Hypervolts. Don't forget about my battle visual novel too, our Matalum Showdown. Go, go play it, it's fun, I swear. With all that said, this has been J5 the Hypervolts. I'll see you whenever next. Goodbye! Hey.